New evidence tonight that North Korea's ambitious young Supreme Commander may soon have another submarine to command and a new way to threaten the U.S. New satellite photos just published by the website Beyond Parallel show what appears to be new activity at the Sinpo South shipyard in North Korea, where Kim Jong-un's regime builds many of its submarines. Two support submarines, a larger sub and a so-called midget sub, are parked there, along with another support vessel. There's a crane, a vehicle in one photo, and people at the dock. Analysts believe it all could be to support this, an enormous nuclear-capable submarine being built or renovated, which Kim was photographed inspecting last month at a nearby location. Experts say the shipyard activity could mean the North Koreans are preparing for a crucial test. The purpose of this vessel may be to take the test barge out into open waters and test a submarine-launched ballistic missile. CNN talked to a top Pentagon official about the new pictures. We see very uh, uh, in, intentional modernization on the part of uh, the DPRK. What concerns you about the development of that submarine? Well, you know, if you if you extrapolate far enough, they're, they're uh, looking to, for a capability that uh, uh, makes them a, a, a more uh, potent adversary. Another senior U.S. official has told CNN the U.S. has been tracking the development of this sub for a year and a half. Kim successfully test-fired a ballistic missile from a smaller submarine in 2016, a vessel which experts say could hold one nuclear-tipped missile. This larger one, they say, could hold three or more. These subs give Kim the ability to launch nuclear missiles that would be harder to detect in advance, and analysts fear he's trying to develop a longer-range submarine. They could potentially, within the next decade, develop submarines capable of transiting the Pacific Ocean within range sufficient to launch missile strikes against the United States. Today's new development comes as President Trump's new defense secretary spoke about Kim's other missile threat. Obviously, we are concerned about their short-range ballistic missile tests. We under, want to understand what they're doing, why they're doing, etc. But on the other hand, we're not going to overreact. But tonight, experts say Kim's full steam ahead program to perfect his submarines shows he's trying to build a nuclear force that can survive enemy attacks, while at the same time diminishing the promise of President Trump's overtures toward the dictator. This type of activity only reinforces the fact that North Korea seems, at least at the moment, not committed to denuclearizing to the extent that the president had mentioned.